switch is invaluable, guys. It's a game changer. I never knew it existed. I knew you could get those types of readings off of one of the high dollar uh, scanner tools or whatever. And of course the dealership can do that. It's a great, great way to get a ton of resources off the computer in your vehicle. What's up guys, it's Steve here. I had a couple of requests to show just a little bit more about the OBD2 reader that I got off Amazon that allows me to troubleshoot AC issues. If you guys saw in the other videos, I'm trying to figure out what the heck's wrong with the stupid AC in this truck. Uh, compressor keeps cycling on and off and we're just kind of going through the motions to try to figure that out. But a lot of folks don't know how to troubleshoot that and there's a vast amount of information you can get with just a cheap reader from Amazon and a Forescan app on your phone. And I say Forescan because for Ford pickups uh, or Ford vehicles in general, it's an excellent resource and it has the PIDs and stuff like that for just about everything you could imagine and the same type of information the dealer can get. But there's a trick to it. You got to have the ability to read both the high, high speed can and the medium speed can and most of your little cheap readers can only do the high speed can. So you get the little cheap Bluetooth reader from Amazon, they're like 10 bucks or whatever. They work great and you can get a lot of good data off of them. You can uh, check the engine light codes, you can reset them, stuff like that. But what you can't get is things like HVAC information. You can't get TPMS information, that kind of stuff. Uh, Anti-lock brake system. Um, there's a couple of others in there too that you can't get with your standard OBD reader. But instead of going out and go and paying hundreds of dollars for one of those fancy readers that the dealers use or whatever, I'll put the link to this down below. I'm going to show you guys. I got a it's a brand called BB Fly, and what this is is a typical OBD reader that you get off of Amazon. It's Bluetooth, but there's something different about it. You see this guys, it's got a switch and it actually says on here, HS can and MS can. HS can is a whole bunch of basic information that you can get on your vehicle, it's very useful. But that MS for medium speed can is very, very valuable when you're troubleshooting and that's the type of stuff that you're gonna need if you wanna troubleshoot. And that's the kind of stuff that you're gonna need if you wanna troubleshoot AC issues, so real quick, I'm gonna put the link for that down below. It's pretty cheap, guys, way cheaper than those high dollar tools, and it works great. I use a Forescan app on, on Android is what I got. They got it for iOS stuff too. I think that's, it was like five bucks. It's not free, but it's worth its weight in gold, guys. I mean, what's a dealership Diag cost for them to plug a computer in, like a hundred bucks or something these days? So anyway, I wanna show you guys. So what you do is you, you plug it into your port, pair it to your phone, comes up pretty easy. Get that thing paired. Make sure that the switch is in the HS position. That's flipped to the right if you're looking at it. And I'm gonna open up my Forescan app on my phone and you'll see right here, connection status. It should already be connected and that's what that X, the X is actually disconnect because it's already connected. If, if there wasn't an X there, you could push that and it would connect to it. And what we're gonna do, click on vehicle information. You can see right here, it's got all sorts of good information about the vehicle. So that's, that way you know that it's connected. But this is where the good stuff comes in. You hit the table, go to settings. You see this area right here, selected PIDs in module. So this is a piece that I missed when I first started looking. You can of course hit all of them as well, but it's got little filters for the different PIDs. Now some of these, like for instance, this HVAC PID, sorry guys, one hand, HVAC PID, that's the one you can only read with the MS can. And I'm gonna show you what Forescan does. It's smart enough to read, the, uh, to know that that reader's got to switch. It actually asks you when you first open the app. And I'm gonna hit plus here. And I'm, you see all these PIDs? There's some good stuff in here, right? AC clutch, demand, actuator, blower speed, all that good stuff. I can do max power, front blower, I'm just gonna put some random ones in here. I wanna show you guys, interior temp sensor. And then I'm gonna hit the back button. These are all the ones, if I wanna change it, I can just hit the red X to remove them, hit back. Sorry guys, I had a battery issue. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit play like that. If you're on the high speed bus, a little message pops up that says, hey, 
flip the switch over to the MS can. And that's what I did. If you look down here, you'll see I switched over to the left and that's indicated right here. So when I come over here, hit this, it's play, it's playing, it's reading the data, you can tell because a little circle spinning. And now look at all this good information, guys. This is really invaluable information. You can see so much data about your AC. So this is very, very helpful for troubleshooting. And there's a lot more PIDs in this, like, like you guys saw. I just chose some random ones. But uh, like blower speed, I can up the blower here. Turn on max AC. Turn that back off. HVAC state, internal temperature, pickup. There's just a lot of really good information, guys, you can get out of it. There's a couple of other things like, if I come in here, change this module over to, I don't know, TCM. There's a whole bunch of good stuff you can put in here. You see what happens here? If you go over to something that's needed on the high speed can, that's the message I was telling you about. So hit okay. Oop. Flip the switch first, dummy. So I'll flip the switch. Now it'll work. See, that's how it works. So one quick thing I forgot to tell you guys that is really cool is with these OBD readers that have that MS CAN switch on it, you can run Diag tests within Forescan Lite 2, which is pretty useful and it's pretty cool. So I'm gonna show you guys that. I'm gonna switch this over to medium scan. And I'm gonna come over here to tests and check out all these cool tests. You've got transmission control module, powertrain, HVAC, audio control, all that good stuff. So what you do is you hit the checkbox here, you hit the I, and it gives you instructions for what state the vehicle needs to be in to run the test. So in this case, the vehicle's not moving, don't touch any switches, whatever. So if I hit okay here, and then I come up here, hit the play button, vehicle must be prepared, it pops up again, let you know. Sorry to be repetitive, guys. Please set HS CAN switch to MS CAN bus position and click OK. So it's smart enough to let you know, hey, you got to be on the MS CAN for this test. I'm going to hit OK. Check this out, guys. It's testing the blower. And you can see here, it's telling you what it's doing. Testing the actuator, you can hear it moving. testing the clutch on the compressor I can hear it cycling yeah that's it and that's it guys it's pretty cool I don't know how useful it is but it's pretty neat there's a bunch of little other little tests as you guys saw that could be very again could be very very useful for you guys if you're troubleshooting something wrong with your vehicle particularly a Ford vehicle so Thought that was pretty pretty cool that switch is invaluable guys it's a game changer i never knew it existed i knew you could get those types of readings off of one of the high dollar uh scanner tools or whatever and of course the dealership can do that it's a great great way to get a ton of resources off the computer in your vehicle and uh the other thing i want to point out is Forescan has a free app for windows it doesn't cost anything so if you got a windows laptop you got a lot bigger and better interface to read all this data and you can do a little bit more than the app can and i'd highly recommend that as well i don't have a windows laptop handy otherwise i'd show you guys that but uh you know here's something funny what i actually did is my office is on the other side of the house i pulled the truck up right next to my office window because i've got bluetooth built into my office computer and that's how i tested it originally so just get within range right it doesn't have to be a laptop so if you've got an office computer or a desktop computer that's got bluetooth in it or uh, even one of those little cheap Bluetooth adapters you can buy for your computers. You could also go that route. Uh, if you got a shop or something like that that's got a, a, a computer that's handy, that's really close to where the vehicles are gonna be, the range on these isn't the greatest, but you can probably get an easy 50 feet from it 
and so you could have a stationary computer as well as long as it's got Bluetooth. But yeah, guys, that's it. I'm gonna put the link below for that particular reader. There's a couple of them out there, but there's not a lot of them that are like this, and in in, especially in that price range. I'm gonna put that down below so you guys can go hit that and check it out. And yeah, y'all let me know uh, what you think down in the comments below. Appreciate y'all watching. Hope you guys found this useful and uh, take care.